Welcome to Misala Productions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Misala. Señoras y señores, bienvenido. Welcome to my living room. On today's video, I would like to do this video for all my ex audience and all newcomers to the Xbox community that just purchased an Xbox or will purchase one in the near future. This demonstration is in the same vein as a Big Kahuna. Shout outs to it. Um, I would like to show people how you can acquire and, and, and obtain the best picture quality from your Xbox One console on your TV of choice. I'm going to start this step by step as easy and coherent as I can. Here we are on the Xbox One dashboard, which is the UI. This is the first part of the steps. Step number two. We're going to have here, here's a controller. Wired or non-wired, it doesn't matter. In the middle of every Xbox One controller, there are two major buttons in the center of the controller. One is the back button, and one is the start button. At this point in time, you will press the start button. You see how and when you press the start button, you have a selection of tiles going down. You scroll all the way down to settings. Press on the A button and you go into the settings. This is one way you can go to settings. Okay? For all you people that get intimidated because it's something new especially if you're migrating from 360 to the Xbox One. It's very different. Another way that we can do and go into settings is this way. You go back to the main dashboard. You quit by pressing the same button. You press the start button. You go down to quit. You quit out. This is how you close all of your tiles on the Xbox One's dashboard. You, have to, you don't have to leave any of them on. So what you do is you scroll, you scroll over into My Games and Apps. Click onto that tile. And you're going to scroll all the way down to your left. Your left. Your left. Your left. You'll notice on the side here on the left that you have three tiles. One says games, the middle one says apps, and the bottom one says your personal queue. You click onto apps, which we're already in, and you scroll over to your right to the box that says settings. Here we go. Press the button and into the settings we go. While in the settings menu, what we're going to do here at this point is we're going to go where it says display and sound. This is the tile you're going to pick. Click the button and we go into the tile. Amazing. Here we go. You have three, no, actually four separate lines of tiles. Each one is for a different command. We have one on the on, on your very left, far left, says display, and from the left to the right, we have video fidelity, volume, digital audio. At this moment, we go into display, where it says TV resolution. Click on TV resolution. We have the option of 1080p, 720p. Go up to 1080p if your TV supports the highest quality of resolution at this time. Unless you have a 4K TV, which is a little higher, of course. So, click on to 1080p. Your own Xbox will ask you if you want to keep this resolution. You say yes or no. There's two boxes, and you pick from that box, as you saw. We pick yes. That's step number two. This is step number three. You move over to your right and click on to Video Fidelity. In Video Fidelity, no, 
go, let's go back once again. In Didio Fidelity, you see you have color depth and color space. Okay, right underneath it, you said, you see it says allow 50 hertz, that's only for the European market, allow 24 hertz, or allow 3D if you have a 3D TV. All these come into complaint if your TV supports any of these things or it's for your desire on your country. In this case, we're just going to color depth. Click on color depth. You see how it says 24 bit pixels, 30 bit pixels, and 36 bit pixels. Okay? These are the amount of pixels that are running by frame in speed. How many colors are running through those pixels? In this case, the Xbox One supports three levels. Now, with this option, not all TVs support it. The better brand of TV you have with better color fidelity, like let's say a Sharp Aqua uh, Quattro with the four color palettes, or in this case, my TV is Hitachi. I have Hitachi Ultra Vision, which supports a lot of color bit pixel counts. You can It supports the very highest quality, which is 36 bits. So, let's go to the 36 bits. We click on 36 bits, boom. Step number three is done. It will ask you again, do you want to keep this color depth? You say yes. Now, if it doesn't work for you, it'll go back automatically to the one that it does support, whether it's 30 or 24. So don't panic. It's okay. This is just to give you a more vivid and brighter color, vivid fidelity when you play your games or watch your movies. Now, you scroll down to color space. In color space, we're going to click in. At this moment, we have it at standard. Now, here's this, the question that most people are going to ask and probably didn't really know. Now, as you know, standard would mean it's the recommended for a regular TV. All flat screen TVs since 2001 are PC monitors as well. So as you know, to get the best quality of gaming, when you connect a TV or a PC, you have to have it running as if it was a PC monitor. In this case, the Xbox One, and believe it or not, even the PlayStation 4, are PC architecture hardware. So, in order to run these consoles at the better fidelity, you must pick PC RGB, which means red, green, and blue. So let's go to PC RGB. Once you click on this, you will automatically see the differences, and it will ask you. Your display might not work with this setting. So if your TV doesn't support it, it will automatically change. And will automatically not let you know what your TV can do or not, or can't handle. But like I said, most LED, LCDs, or even 4K TVs at this moment are all PC monitors as well. So it will work. If it's not supported, then it won't. Let's go to switch anyway. So you pick switch anyway. It's just letting you know if it doesn't support it, it won't do it. In my case, there you go. It asks you, do you want to leave it that way? Yes. So here we go. I have my settings at 32 bit per pixels on the color depth, and I have my color space at PC RGB immediately. When you do this, you see the differences in the black shaders. The white are more white, they're more vibrant, and when you play your games, the colors and the shaders are more vivid and more vibrant. You will get a better picture quality. So now what we can do as the last step is we go over back to the right to display, I mean back to the left, I'm sorry, to display, go down and calibrate HD TV. Click on HD TV calibration, and here you go. You'll have a number of steps that will tell you, word for word, piece by piece, how all these little examples that they show you on the side are supposed to look like. Now, this video doesn't really come up really well because of the fact because of the fact that um, the colors and, and the camera is not really showing what too well right now because the lighting in my room. It's really not great, but at this moment, as you see, you're going to have these tiles and these steps. 
So all you do is you follow steps. Go to next. You read on the top. Go to next. Again, next. It'll tell you what is recommended, how it should look. And this is telling you based on your aspect ratio. Keep going to next. This is telling you on your brightness, based on your brightness, how you're supposed to see those bars on the side there. It's perfect. Go to next. There's another demonstration. You're going to see other boxes on the both sides and in the middle. Right now, you can't see it because I had to lower my brightness in order to demonstrate this setting video. Just continue to do this. Continue to see the eye on top, eye on the bottom. You can't really see it because it's too, too, too bright. But you will see like what it tells you what it's supposed to look like. Once you do all this, just continue, continue, keep pressing, continue, 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 continue. It says done. Once you're done, you will see it based on what they told you, the differences from the top and the bottom tiles that give you the demonstration of what it's supposed to look like if your TV settings are correctly. This is here, the reason for this section here is so that you can set up your TV settings the way you want them. Like your brightness, your contrast, or your uh, a color depth, or even your color temperature. That is what these tiles are for. Based on these tiles, you'll know if you have the right settings on your TV, like brightness, or your color depth, or your color temperature, correctly. Let's press done here. Now, let's go exit out and go back to the main menu. Press the middle guide button on the controller. Let's demonstrate that. You press the middle guide button on the controller, the big button there that says Xbox. And here you go. You're right on the dashboard again. So we'll press the start button again. And this is how we quit. We go down to quit. Press it again. And now we automatically completely got out of the actual uh, settings menu tile. So it's closed, everything's done. And from this point on, ladies and gentlemen, you should be able to see a great change in fidelity and picture quality in your games. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this helps everyone. Please don't be skeptical. It works. And if it doesn't, it'll automatically tell you what your TV will support. Go for it. Give it a try. I don't think you'll regret it. And gracias una vez más por estar aquí conmigo en mi sala. Well, thank you for joining me in my living room one more time. Until the next video, have a good one. Mi sala is closed.